Montello SPA is a leading Italian and European company in the treatment, recovery and recycling of organic waste from municipal separate waste collection. The organic waste treatment plants have been built using the most advanced technologies, integrated with our own system and process solutions and know-how. The amount of waste treated now is 765,000 tonnes per year. The organic waste is placed into special tanks and stored in a closed structure under vacuum conditions. The waste is removed from the tanks for initial processing in the bag shredder machines, from which it is then transferred by conveyor belts equipped with special iron separators to the hydropulpers, machines used to disintegrate the waste by adding water and, at the same time, separate components that are undesirable in the anaerobic and aerobic process. Mechanical action and flotation separate the heavy and light portions of the organic waste unwanted in the process, producing an organic liquid known as the organic suspension. The organic suspension from this processing phase is sent to closed reactors called digesters, which are fed continuously and maintained under thermophilic conditions. The digestion process is conducted in a strictly anaerobic environment, in the absence of free oxygen, and is based on the development of microorganisms that attack the organic substance, transforming it into biogas or biological gas consisting of biomethane and carbon dioxide. In anaerobic digestion, the conversion of complex organic substrates occurs through an anaerobic trophic chain. The mixing system used within the digesters prevents stratification of the organic suspension contained in the reactors. The biodegradation process takes place in the following phases. The hydrolysis of complex substrates this phase is accompanied by acidification, in which volatile fatty acids, ketones and alcohols are formed. The acetogenic phase, in which the fatty acids form acetic acid, formic acid, carbon dioxide and molecular hydrogen. The methanization phase, the formation of biomethane from acetic acid or through the reduction of carbon dioxide, using hydrogen as a co-substrate while to a lesser extent, methane formation is obtained from formic acid. The digested organic suspension out of digesters is then sent to the centrifuge unit for the separation of the solid sludge component from the process water liquid component. Digested sludge from the digestate centrifugation is mixed with lignocellulosic component and placed in biotunnels under vacuum conditions, where it completes maturation through aerobic biotransformation, producing high-quality organic fertilizer. A specially equipped control lab performs daily sampling and analyses for all production process phases. Process water is treated in a special biological system and recirculated in the production processes. A control room with special monitoring systems constantly ensures proper operation and the most efficient process management. The biomethane production system digesters produce a biogas that, once dehumidified, consists of about 60% biomethane and about 40% carbon dioxide. The biogas is then sent to the upgrading system that allows the two gas streams to be separated using polymeric membrane separation technology.
The generated biomethane is then compressed to be placed into the national transport network and may be used as advanced biofuel for automotive and or other uses. The carbon dioxide, previously separated in the upgrading system, is treated in a special system and is purified and liquefied to be suitable for industrial uses, including food. In case of an emergency, the biogas can be sent to the combustion torches, which are large enough to burn all of the biogas produced by the plant, if so needed. The process used is an excellent example of a carbon-negative circular economy and allows for significant savings of fossil raw materials. The main advantages offered by this treatment, recovery and recycling system of organic waste are the plant, thanks to the production of biomethane, is a source of positive energy. The system used to upgrade biogas to biomethane not only does not generate emissions into the atmosphere, but thanks to the recovery of carbon dioxide for industrial purposes, including food, is considered a carbon-negative system.